Thank you for the patience. We're back to the action. These series continue to go longer and longer, Wolfie. We saw a four game series early on, obviously went a, a little bit or a five game. My apologies went a little bit on the shorter end, a six game series to bring us into the grand finals and now getting word in a seven game series, Linden High School defeating Carmel to make their place in the grand finals and Wolfie to help us get that hype going again for the finals. So we're not just back to the action. We're back to chatting with Marty, getting some more shout outs here. And I always like to see the uh, the people who help make all of this kind of stuff work, getting their flowers and being able to come in and chat. Well, thanks for having me again, guys. Lyndon breaking up the Indiana, you know, uh, monopoly here. This is great. Uh, they had beaten Carmel uh, yesterday in in uh, qualifying play and they went to seven and took care of them again. So. We got Michigan versus Indiana. This will be fun. You guys are doing a fantastic job. I'm looking at the rosters of these teams, and we've got actually uh, the uh, Ben Davis team has a couple of freshmen going, uh, and a senior and a junior. Looks like their whole roster has their graduation years in, so that they are in good good shape to be recruitable in the LOS College Portal. I am missing a grad year from one of the Linden players. So Linden, <laughs> if you're out there, uh, it looks like we got some seniors and a junior and one unknown. So make sure everybody that's listening to this, if you're playing in LOS Scholastic Champs, if you're playing in any of the League OS high school state leagues, get your high school graduation year into your profile. That is what sets you up for our LOS College Portal, our brand new recruiting platform. If you want more information, just, again, get your grad year in and you will start getting noticed. If you want to, you can set how you want to be seen. Uh, as, as a prospect, as a, as a student player. And then colleges, any colleges out there listening, go to portal.legos.gg, click the button to inquire. That'll get you into our Discord. That'll get you set up for a demo. And you're going to want to see 20,000 high school prospects in the system, plus another few thousand two-year college prospects. All the junior colleges are in League OS now as well. So there is, our, there is you know, recruiting for days happening here in LOS College Portal. Um, and, you know, this final match is going to be great to showcase all the talent that we have uh, making it to the end of this Rocket League competition. So you guys are doing great. I'm going to let you take it away. And uh, yeah, let's have a great final. I appreciate that, Marty. Well said. And definitely seconding everybody. Make sure you get that information in. It's a solid opportunity. I have a may have gone through like a streak of existentialism as like the years of these students have been getting listed. I definitely wasn't a fifth year senior in college when this game came out. I don't want to know how old they were when I started playing, but it's super cool to see these opportunities and see this come in. And I mean, Wolfie, I'm sure you're, I'm sure you can agree. Uh, no, I, I can. And for someone that's trying to do the same here in my, my local area, seeing that we have students from around the nation being able to do this really just puts esports in that next level. And I was talking about before, it gives them the opportunity to go to that next level education, get some of your school paid for. That's that's what it's all about at the end of the day. You now, some of these some of these uh, student athletes, are, they're so good at video games. It, it's it's unfortunate that that's where they were and at the time this is where now we are here to bring those opportunities forward there wasn't anything for them anything outside of academic but now they have a chance and you know you're seeing a lot of players get full rides especially in the crl realm and just being able to go to school at some of these top uh, universities around the nation right and, and schools and universities are learning the value of this mm -hmm. level of exposure i mean compared to some of the other things that get you know money put into without getting into all the behind scenes on that esports in comparison is a very low cost way to get a lot of eyes on your school and get a lot of interest into it so definitely something that we'd love to see building up and in kind of coming to fruition and it might it's still going to take time to get everything built up but yeah. I, I really like the way that uh, things are looking overall for uh, high school and collegiate esports. Well and, you know, it's just where the next go. And one, one important thing, the structure it brings, Allie. And, you know, I, I would say that one thing here, Marty, is that the, the fact that you have great people are able to help run this league. And it gives those student uh, student gamers the, the potential to have these these realms where they're taken seriously and they're not just in some you know, no no offense to any leagues any makeshift leagues out there where you know you're not always getting the best quality in terms of customer service and being able to really allow yourself to have a, a positive experience playing the game that we all love to play and that's why uh, platforms like this really make it to a, a potential to give everyone a big positive. I appreciate you, appreciate you saying that. That's what League West is all about. And let's not forget, these players are playing for uh, new headsets. The winning team gets new headsets at the end of this. So uh, exciting, high stakes, 
Michigan, Indiana. Here we go. All right. And with that, Marty taking us away to get into this Linden High School versus Ben Davis High School, the number one seed versus the number three. We're going to get this game going underway. Wolfie, I'm excited. So my Michigan versus everybody. <laughs> this is where things are going to go down as their jumper going to be one of the biggest players on this orange half to really make things go. We haven't seen this blue side at all here for Linden, and I'm excited to see who's going to be that number one player. As we said it. This is the number one seed versus the number three seed. We're at the grand finale here, ladies and gentlemen. Best of seven, five minutes underway. I'll admit bias coming on into this one, Wolfie. I expect good things out of Linden. We saw how strong Carmel played early, and they had to go seven, but Linden picked up the win in game seven. And now they're going to look to try to pick up the win here for the back to the action championship. Try to get those headsets that we've been talking about, which, again, could be super cool for whoever ends up rocking those afterwards. But... Ben Davis back on that orange side. They did well rocking the orange earlier tonight. Linden in the blue, this trio, looking to prove why they were the number one seed coming into today. And more importantly, they just came out of a test out. They were at seven games against a team that they also went seven last, uh, last night. So, you know, this team's feeling warmed up. There was a small waiting period here for this orange half. And this is where you have to say, hey, there's no more waiting. You have to go. Guns blazing. First 60 seconds coming off the clock as this one starting to get heated up. And one thing to note as well, Linden has a history of doing well in the LOS Scholastic events, winning the Drumstick Dash tournament back in November. So it's been a little bit of time. It's a new year. We'll see if it's going to be a similar Linden, however. Score the 75 seconds in. But Relic looking to make that something different. And my goodness, Wolfie, if you want to start off a series hot, I don't know how you do it better than that. It just took me a second to process uh, the, the jump and level that we've seen. We haven't seen a flip reset here today yet. And Relic saying, I am what's new. I ain't a Relic. It's my name. But don't wear it out as this one. 120. Relic going for number two. Won't be able to get a touch there. His jumper just clearing that away. Maxwell trying to find an open teammate with a good pinch there. Hey, heck of an impressive goal, but goals are goals. You mm -hmm. just got to keep playing off the kickoff, but getting that... Offense coming in, every shot so far in the first 100 seconds of the game have come from the hoods of Linden with four shots to zero. They get very early, so you can't talk too early about it, but they're coming in quick. Wolfie, they have not missed a step, but they are missing a player. Doesn't matter for Relic, gets the save off jumper shot. Yeah, great job there. Relic just took his time. He saw the patience, didn't get scared, and was able to come away with a big save there to keep this one with a lead. But you know how fitting it is. They're in blue tonight. They're, they're repping the, the, the Detroit Lion blue tonight, Ali. We're talking about how Michigan's been having a great uh, couple months, and these teams want to put another championship under that title. with a big demo there, keeping it into the corner. All I'm going to say is sad skull noises. So uh, <laughs> I almost put my bikes jersey on for today, but, you know, we're, we're going to get over it eventually. But no, they're trying to bring that home. It's been a very good month for them and looking to try to get that success through all levels. And they're continuing on one nil lead at halftime, two nil lead at halftime. Relic coming in again, just clean with it, reading the play and extending this early offensive. I'm not going to say domination yet, but certainly mm -hmm. and suffocating pressure. Yeah, it's been a big surge for them in this first half. And, you know, this will probably be the last Detroit line pun I go. And the Lions, they had a first good first half, but can they finish the rest of this series? But that's the end of that one, Ali. I just got to put that out there. I saw it. It, <laughs> no, it was right there. It was right there for me. But TJ off the backboard trying to look for a relic. And this blue team, they just look impressive. They look steady. They look like they have a three goal lead too. They uh, they look composed. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. what it looks like. I mean, mm -hmm. TJ is just going to go in for this nice inside handoff. He gets the bump on a jumper, and Maxwell again patience. He gets that first touch, doesn't panic when it goes high off the back wall, and instead sets himself up for success to just put it back home, put it in that upper right ninety, and put themselves up three nil. Maybe something off the kickoff too, but kid's going to disrupt it. And, you know, this is game number one. We've seen a lot of best of sevens here, here today. We, well, two to be exact, but you know, the, it, overall in our experience, it, it's just been one where best of, like, game number one, you just kind of take it on the chin. You don't allow that one to really startle you too much, but I feel the one aspect this team needs is at least one goal before the end of this five minutes. Well, we've, I mean, we have seen that in every series so far. Uh, 
three or four unanswered goals to start off game number one before it bounces back and starts getting very competitive, so... What we haven't seen are these flip resets coming out of Relic to really control the ball, to get yeah. this into uh, exactly where he wants. This is, you said it best, so this is just elevating to, to something we have not seen in the tournament so far, at least on the main broadcast. And that just shows you where, and mind you, we just saw this team go to seven, so they're, obviously they're beatable. It, they can have all the fancy mechanics at the end of the day, but at the top level of Rocket League, rotation is king. As Maxwell unable to get too much of a touch. Kid trying to cast a chop to jumper. One, two, back to one. Too strong of a touch. Will to put it right back. This team trying to reset themselves. We're seeing those passing plays coming out from Ben Davis, though. So you know that they're still going for it. They're not panicking. Mm -hmm. Very composed play. Obviously not getting away with a, a goal at the end of it. But showing that composure, they're not just trying to rush these shots coming on in. Down four with a minute left. We got Jumper in the air. He's done damage from this before. Isn't able to get the final touch and Relic says, I'm you. I'm not a remake. I'm the sequel. On that right there, we'll put them up 5-0 under 60 seconds. I feel like the first time we see Jumper have someone either as good or better mechanically here tonight. And just that's how it goes. It's game one. You got to shake it off. It it, 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 it's how it is. <laughs> it's, but uh, it, it's something that uh, you can be very aware of now that Relic is going for these and is comfortable with it, which means you can change things up on defense. And honestly, I, I think just starting to get these challenges a little bit sooner um, in my history, playing against people who are better than me, if you just pre-jump and annoy them in the air, it can tend to throw them off. We might need to start seeing it from Relic because when you get when they get time to work with, it's it's been something to behold. No, it's all good to be better right there. He went up with 19 boots, trying to get that flipper suit there. So, no, he's feeling himself a bit. He may want to try to drag it right back in as Maxwell unable to grab that sh uh, that goal is a good save there. We'll just give it right back to TJ. Put a pressure shot in, and just a line drive straight through the net. I'm just a little curious how TJ got to this one first. I think it was just a little bit of hesitation on the defense. And again, it, it changes one number in the final score at this point, but one that you tend not to see for an offensive player to get a free touch like that. But again, just game one. So five seconds left. One last effort here for Ben Davis to try to get a goal on the board, but... I mean, Wolfie, Linden, they, they came in from a seven-game series. Obviously, they're ready to go 6-0 in game one. That's a, that's an impressive start. Yeah, I Im impressive is, uh, I think, it's not even a word to describe this. They had, what is this, tw uh, 18 shots to their name to the five of Ben Davis. Ben Davis, we saw them just have the offensive pressure in that last series. They were counting the 10, 13 shots, double-digit shots whenever they felt like it, but only getting five right now and seeing how well Linden's been playing, Relic is going to be an issue the next three games. I'm only going to give this team three games left in the series. That's all they can hope for, the way Relic's been playing. You have to now prove us wrong here and push it to game five, push it to game six, push it to potentially game seven. But whew, it's going to take an entire community to take this team down right now. I just went and looked in... Uh... As they're getting ready for game two to load in, seeing what the uh, the scores were from their series versus Carmel. Uh, Linden won game one eight to two against Carmel, okay. which uh, I mean, Carmel won their first game of round one nine to two. So uh, Carmel wins that, I guess. But no, they've they've been putting up goals. Uh, they dropped game two one to four, but then three to one, three to four, three to four, three nil, four nil. I mean, they've been putting up multiple goals all evening long. They're doing it again. Six goals in game number one, looking to keep it going right away in game number two. Already all three up on offense. TJ trying to get the final touch, but will not be able to do it as it just goes a little bit free in front of the net. The defense in a little bit of disarray, but able to get themselves back together, try to regain and get a little bit better control. Yeah, and Jumper unable to just get too much control as Maxwell stealing it right off the hood of his car. Trying to run past them, but the pinch is going to give up pressure. But more importantly, at least allows them to breathe a bit. This, this orange half, they know how mechanically inclined this team is. I'm going to really see for them to put the bumps onto Relic and make sure he's just the most awkward out of everyone, as this one will go the orange half for the first goal. And it, kid coming on in, able to get that goal as Maxwell was dropping all three players there, but 
TJ is trying to put it off of the back wall, could not get the lift underneath that he was looking for, but Kid instead is going to find the first one and breaking the scoreless drought for Ben Davis. That's got to feel good, Wolfie. Yeah, it, we were saying how that last five minutes you needed to go, at least you grab it now. Now you know what a, a lead feels like. This team knows that they've lost game number two last time. So for this Linda squad, you have to look to not have a repeat occurrence. But Maxwell says farewell to that one, puts it back to equal. A very quick response there from Maxwell. And again, you, you can't give Linden time. You can't give them space. They've shown that they can score and they're going to do that as much as they possibly can because we're in the grand, you know, we're in the grand finals, Wolfie. These headsets are on the line. Bragging rights are on the line. And if you want to put it away early, I mean, why not go for it? But still just game number two. Linden, they're playing for that possession a little bit more, utilizing some of those back passes to try to get everybody a little bit more boost, trying to get them a little more comfortable as they set up that offense, because once they come back, it is all out offense. The shot a little bit too high and down after the demo. We'll see if Kid can work their magic one more time. Yeah, Maxwell's been playing great now here in this game. You saw him with those last two shots, almost had a goal. Beautiful save there. My opinion, he's trying to play a Max U back in APAC, but to see if he can find a way to really put one of those star studded performance out here with 322 remaining. Good touch. We'll leave it towards mid. Maxwell trying to take it slow oh. with the fake. Need to get through it, but TJ's there for the redirect and can't find a way to get it through. And to get it past the defenses, they were still, well, not in an ideal spot. We're still guarding. And so that does ultimately end up going wide. But <laughs> I really like that control. I like the fake coming out from this Linden offense. We'll look to try to get something transitional going. Maxwell leaps up with 70, drained half of it. Looking to get one final touch, but it will go just out of reach. So we're approaching halftime, Wolfie. Much closer game two than we saw for game number one. And, you know, I, I believe uh, Carmel, when they won, they had a very dominant game number one, then had a close one in their second match. So even for them, it, it's a flip-flop. We, we've seen it happen multiple times. Maxwell grabbing a second goal, two for three on the evening. He's been having a game. For historical accuracy, Carmel did. It was tied 1-1 until like a minute and a half left, and then they went on to win 4-1. So... It happens late, but uh, Linden getting that done a little bit earlier, taking that lead back three ticks before halftime. Again, this offense has just been impressive, swarming this midfield, cutting off what Ben Davis are trying to get going, and these aerial shots have just been powerful enough on their own, but the rotations have been so tight to come in and get the second shot after the defense has to fully commit to blocking the first. And Relic doing a good job with... The second chance attempts, and you're talking about just allowing yourself to get more chances at the net. This team just seems to just be in the right positions at the right times every time. And this team just showing the Rocket League IQ, but what's his orange squad going to be able to come back with? They've seen themselves lose leads before and come right into it as Void Winter with ice in his veins. Got to step up. You can't back down when you're going against a team that is scoring as well as it is. And Got to take those opportunities as they come. Void Winter doing just that. Keeping this game manageable, obviously still down. You want to get a couple more here to try to equalize the series, but certainly going to be easier to find, try to find one goal than it is to find two. Might be easy if uh, you can take advantage of some inadvertent touches as well. Maxwell, I don't think wanted that one as far back, but look, look to get back here to position a good clear by them. Okay, have a chance. Third goal won't be able to go. Maxwell there this entire time to really ward it off. And you no know, small opportunities, but opportunities nonetheless. They just have to find a way to just get the that little difference maker. And I don't know if it's a demo. I don't know if this team needs to find more of a lucrative pass, but it just seems that they've had about two or three goals that potentially could have gone in. They just haven't gone their way. Yeah, and it's... It's, it's tough, too, because it's so close and you just can't worry about it. The clock does not stop. It's not a turn-based mm -hmm. aim, so you you can take your 60 seconds to reflect in between. You don't have too much time for any of those long-developing thoughts once the game is actually going on. So that's why you see so much reactive-type gameplay. Try to be Generally, try to be a little bit more proactive, but again, you play who is in front of you. And right now, if Linden's in front of you, I don't necessarily envy you. The offense has been good. The control, fantastic. A one-goal game here with 60 seconds left. Wolfie, this is where it's really going to come down to if Ben Davis can get this series tied. Yeah, Ben, it, it would be a huge turn of events if they could. 
I feel you kind of put yourself right back in the ball game in terms of the mental aspect because you know when you have goal score on you yes it's a one goal differential right now but it just hasn't felt that way but jumper doing what he does best and that's scoring for his team Boyd Winter putting it up high and just a solid waterfall down. And what do we see? Wolfie, how many times now? Kid, from his vantage point, just seeing Jumper getting there a little bit first. I'm starting to feel bad for him at this point. Again, you, you want the goal secured. I've said that every time, but we'll, we'll put it more along the lines of uh, great minds think alike. And uh, Jumper thinks he can do what he wants, stealing that lead with an impressive angle. 34 seconds left in game two. I'm just surprised there on the relic. Decides just to leave that there. Going for the defensive clear. I would have felt that he should have gone for more of a 50, knowing that he knew his teammate was behind him. But the lead has changed. They didn't have the lead till the very start of this game. And it looks like it won't hold on for much <laughs> longer as Maxwell ties this one up. I think relic just wanted to do a throw it back at Jumper. He's going to get Maxwell set up. Jumper on the ground. You can't really take that shot there unless you put it far post. Much more consistent to line it up knowing that your teammate's likely going to have an open net afterwards. They find themselves tied and, and Wolfie, neither of these teams are going away. I'm not too surprised to see these body shots start coming out. These body blows as haymakers are beginning to go. You, this little time left Everything mattering more and more with 15 seconds. That's just going to be a free bounce, and that one is going to go in courtesy of Void Winter and a playmaker for Jumper. I, I, I'm, I'm, I literally was trying to analyze that as the replay was going, and there was nothing to really analyze besides saying, eh, things just happen sometimes. It, happens. <laughs> it, just, it just happens sometimes. Just go next. <laughs> Mindset of a goldfish, but. Double kickoff would be huge if they tie it up, wards it away, had no boost, and just had to put something off for pressure. And this one will hit the turf. This one keeping it up one more second as this one bowing towards the orange team. Or will it? No, it stayed down just a little bit too low. You could see, at least it looked to me, it looked like Linden was trying to set it up, get the ball back to Relic to get an aerial play going. But great play there by Ben Davis, even not getting that immediate knockdown able to start getting that ball that little bit lower it's so much harder to keep the uh the ball up when it's already at hood level you can't really get a dribble going so mm -hmm. but no wolfie a big bounce back i mean they're held scoreless and gave up six in game one not only did they hold linden to four goals but they put up five of their own to tie the series yeah i i wasn't expecting this comeback here did i at least not five goals i, I felt if, if they were able to come into it they, the most they would have made over score against linden would have been three but they showed out they showed hey you can you can doubt us you can do what we can't but one thing we do have we have jumper on our side and he was yes he stole one from kid but you, you know he, he's just faster he's just faster that's, that's all you have to say it's just built different just built different, yeah, built different. <laughs> no it's securing goals I, i'll say that over and over casual stealing goals but if you're in a competitive environment you don't leave it up to chance we've seen how many miraculous goals across all levels of rocket league over the years so you want to secure when you can get it especially in the grand finals especially when you're trying to get something going here and it looks like we're going to go to a a remake of the lobby again just wanted to make sure everything is as solid as possible for the players one of the fun things about online gaming get to go through with all these connection stuff but wolfie i'm sure you wouldn't mind either we want to make sure everybody's connecting fine no no oh, leave us in here in the booth let, let, let the <laughs> let the, the pot stew a little bit the bubbles just kind of form and you know this has been a great dish to, to, for all of us to eat so far and you know it, we're still not even done we're barely at the appetizer we're probably game what, what is this game three of this best of seven it, we're basically in a best of five at this point towards the back end of this game but Oof, there's, there's still so much that can be happening. And after that game, I don't even know what's going to happen. I felt, okay, Linda's going to take a game. They're probably going to take game number two. But with the flip of this switch, we might just see a back and forth, one game win, one game loss, one game up, one game down. But we'll have to find out what Linden and Ben Davis has, or what De and Ben Davis and Linden both have, their hearts and resilience. It, Wolfie, this, this match really feels like it's going to be one of those grand finals where yeah. – it's either going to end in four games or it's going to end in seven. Mm -hmm. We've seen both team win, both teams win. I mean, I still think it's going to go seven, maybe six games, but you, you, you just, that's how they tend to go. It's either everyone or it's either everything or it's nothing. Right now, it's looking like it's going to be everything. This heart, this battle continues to go. 
for these squads, for these players, and uh, Axel is going to go ahead and get a demo off Kid right off the bat and say, you know what? Check yourself. Remember who you're playing against. Yeah, check yourself, because I'm going to wreck yourself. Is that one going to be a good save there by Kid? Could have been the first goal to start things off as Maxwell is starting to get his hands dirty there. Almost able to get it, but the defense here for Ben Davis holding off for that a little bit. Ball careening around. Relic is going to have plenty of boost, grabbing the pennies on the way up. Avoid Winter pre flipping into the corner clear. Kid is going to leave this one. Maxwell taking over the top, so. Ball not traveling too far in between these touches, just very quick reactiveness from everybody involved. So, see, only 45 seconds off the clock so far, but getting that offense back in from Linden and TJ trying to set up Maxwell here. Quickly challenged by the defense, but all three pinned up in the corner. Got a little breezy there. This team's trying to get a little mechy and they're trying to really show off. And you know, it's that detriment. When these teams, when they feel that so much more kind of inclined, is it really a hindrance when you're trying to show off a little bit too much in some of these games where you feel that you dominate? You just can't let it get away from you. Because, I mean, you want to build confidence. You, and part of that is by being able to uh, play a little freely, kind of go for stuff. And mm -hmm. it can seem a little bit kind of rubbing it in. But a little bit of that, for the mentality's sake, is not necessarily a bad thing. Excellent save there by Relic. Just need to throw that out. But... No, as long as you don't let it go too far out of sorts. If, if Linden start going for that kind of stuff, then they suddenly drop to a two-goal deficit. You know, clean it up a little bit at that point. But if we're still tied 0-0, zero, zero, I'm not too worried about a little bit extra flashy. Well, you got the green light from Alligator Sower, so put the content on the full display for all you all at Twitch. And make sure, ladies and gentlemen, in the Twitch chat, put exclamation part. Oh. Have, I don't have the team name in front of me. I apologize right there, Valley. If you don't mind, I tried pressing my button here. It didn't have it. You're, you're in game here. Tonight. Wind and ice cold Ben Davis. That is true. Uh, no, that is that. I know exactly what you just tried to do. But we're gonna see how it goes. It's essentially, best of five right now, Wolfie. It, it it is leaning more towards anybody's game. It was looking. Mm -hmm. I mean, by virtue of six nil, looked like Linden were completely in the driver's seat, but. At some point, we all become passengers as Ben Davis have kind of seized it and got it back to this this more balanced game halfway through in game three. Just like in game number one, how many times are we going to see Linden score exactly at the 230 mark? I think it's it's calculated now. They're the, the same boys. It's half time. It's, it's time for us to, to get a goal here. And, you know, I'm, I'm with it. Relic has been so great to see so far. And... It's really starting this one off. You the bit quiet in that last game and really starting things on a hot start as TJ leaves it back for Relic. The fake leads to a 2-0. And that one, just a solid call off as well. See where TJ and Beth call it a fake. Kid facing just that little bit of wrong way. Jumper make, makes contact, but too little too late. And suddenly opening it up for Linden 2-0. Two, two goals in six seconds. The kickoffs uh, historically have been favorable to them as well, this time slowed. But for the moment, as the ball stays relatively deep in this orange half, TJ, the soft touch, lobbing it up over the time. Wolfie, we've seen these off-speed touches work to such great effect throughout the night. I threw my eyes. I thought, that, I thought TJ said AJ, because that one was just <laughs> beautiful. Sometimes you don't need to get the second flip on the reset. You just get that little bit of a pop, and mm -hmm. that's all you need to beat mm -hmm. the defender. Just, you know, I, I, yeah, let's just say I love the awareness by him there, too. He's like, ah, I just need a little, just a little touch. But, you know, this team's really starting to show off. Maxwell off the backboard, can't get the Devo, but there it will go. <laughs> there it is. There Great it, is. To see, it looked like it might have rolled in off that post as well, but no, instead of a free ball, the, uh, TJ was going to let this one sit for a bit. We'll avoid Winter. Again, it's a very hard situation to be in as a defender. You have to, like calculate so many different angles where you can hit it without own goaling and there's really not that many <laughs> that you can do in that situation so not too terribly surprised to see uh to tj be able to just put that away but the wolfie we went two and a half minutes into this game without a goal and then we went what 30 seconds we're seeing four more so very much a uh, a burst coming in from linden to get that lead and put themselves back in the driver's seat yeah, this team kind of just did it all in one. They just kind of sniped them there and said, all right, cool. We're, we're, we are not going to allow this game to kind of ride out into the sunset the way you did in that last game. But 138-5-0 lead. This team trying to close it out quickly here. Maxwell, just a nice little touch there, too. Nothing too hard, nothing too soft. 
to line that up inside the post. And that's one sometimes you wor you worry about as an offensive player trying to do you go for the shot? Do you try to dime it up? But Maxwell has the angle on it and it's going to take full advantage of it. So five nil. 90 seconds left, a very different game than it was mere moments ago. But certainly one that Linden is happy to see develop. Yeah, and you know, the way this one's kind of going, Relic almost grabbing that pre-jump to there, that teammate pass. These teams starting to feel good, but I just don't want to see this orange side get have that Husek on the board towards the back end. Uh, they need to be at least able to score here. It's tough, especially now. They're going to be down, I believe it is, 2-1 two, two, Gator uh, after this one? Uh, yeah, that's what we are looking oh, at. Time series coming in and looking uh, more like game one than it did game two. So it could be just a trade-off. I mean, in the previous series, Linden either won by several goals or they lost by one. I mean, it tends to be, you know, either blowouts or close losses. So but regardless, they are here in the grand finals up 5-0 in game three. Veering, playing very confidently throughout this, uh, especially the back half of this game three as well. Yeah, a good pinch there. Final 30 seconds. These boys in blue trying to close this one off to get one step closer to the promised land and get themselves some new headphones as this goal will be. TJ grabs number three. And Relic gets the playmaker off it as well. Relic able to do it all. Already has a couple of goals, has a save and says, you know what? I could go for some passes. I could get something a little bit extra on here. We see a 6-0 lead for Linden High School. So, you know, Wolfie, I, I keep using the word confidence in this, but honestly, I don't really know of many other ways to describe the feeling. If you have the POV of one of these uh, Ben Davis players and you see all three opponents pre-jumping everything, every pass, just kind of pre-jumping back passes into their own corner, just having fun, that's a... That's a tough one to keep pushing back, especially because it tends to keep working for Linden. Yeah, it, this Linden squad, I, I said earlier, they're in the right place at the right time, but that's all pre-planned. This, this team had a menu set, and they said, boys, we're getting towards the main course before dessert, but looks like this one will stay Brazil here. I believe we're in Costa Rica. <laughs> But I mean, we're going from the, I mean, it's that time of year. You want to go on vacation. So it's, uh, I mean, both Indiana and Michigan. I'm from the upper Midwest originally. I mean, I get out, I used to get out of Dodge when it got cold. So, but either way, Linden, I mean, 7-1 after, you know, it, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Their offense has just been impeccable, Wolfie. It's as simple as that. Yeah, the, the offense is great. And Relic leading that charge forward for this squad is one of the best player but you know the one thing i'm looking at this lobby the one thing that i'm, I'm saying off is someone that i'm looking to see tj he, he, he man's a steam player he has a steam account on there i see everyone else is on epic i'm gonna look for him to make some 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 bigger plays there three goals <laughs> he has a hat trick here uh shooting 100 percent right now linden they're one step or oh, two step closer but poof right now ben davis <sighs> only three shots only three shots yeah. It is. You got to get more shots on than that. Again, it's hard. They're pinned back. I mean, Linden controls the ball. They control the pace. They control the offense. And we've seen teams fight back from these situations earlier. And it mm -hmm. generally revolves around not giving the ball away, slowing it down. If you're getting beat on the challenges, beat on the pre jumps, well, remove those from the equation. Make mm -hmm. stop letting them be a thing. Easier said than done, which I will repeat every time I cast because it legitimately is difficult to do when teams are that quick to the jump. But I mean, honestly, I do think Ben Davis, if they can keep that ball just a little bit closer to each other, make the passes a little bit shorter to cut off the opportunities for interceptions, it's going to make it more difficult for Linden to get these opportunities. But Linden, they make the most of every chance they get. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see if Ben Davis is able to heed the call of Alligatosaurus in this new five minutes. This team needing a big change here. Or they'll go down one game away from technically getting second here. That's not that's not shame whatsoever, but this team wants that goal. They know they can get it. And a goal to start this one off for Void Winter is going to push them there. And hey, 27 seconds in. I mean, they won the last even-numbered game, game four. What says they can't pick up this one and just try to break the streak, break the serve, so to speak? They're going to have to go bar. A little bit further than this, though, and I anticipate a quick goal coming in from Linden. We'll see if they can uh, get two goals in the first half of the game like they did in game number two, but time will tell. 
right now, Relic downfield, Maxwell trying to pre-flip into the redirect, does not get it, but again, feeling very smooth with it are these three blue players. Yeah, they, they're they feeling smooth, but they have big brains as Relic just walks that one in. The one thing I love about plays like this is we can both see each other's faces in in the preview for the stream and stuff, and inevitably there's somebody just kind of like sitting back stunned on all of these goals. I mean, Relic's so smooth with it, picking it up, bringing it across, and a a again, just kind of pulling that out of nowhere where you don't often see that kind of play develop, and yet here we are. We're tied up, still life, still a pulse for Ben Davis. They are fighting, but again, Linden are starting to step it up and improve each and every game. You know, and we're, sh we're shocked, not because we've never seen it before, is that the fact that he's able to do this so well and he just looks so smooth with it. We've seen some of the best in the world and he's looking that, still need some work to get there, but he's showing that, hey, I can get there as well. I'm here in this high school league and all start with the lowest champs and I'm going to want my shirt myself an extra little consolation prize and knowing that I can continue playing at the best of my abilities is TJ full boost will take this as this good control by him flip reset has it but just slightly off yeah definitely echoing your sentiment it's just the smoothness that has been so impressive and jumper has been doing it as well and maybe a little bit more of a turbo flick that time than necessarily the pop he was looking for but TJ is the one you had called out trying to come back the other way the ball slipping just out of grasp and we're going to see some uh, some turns going for these side wall plays. Each team, I, I don't imagine it was necessarily a conclusion they all came out to, but we'll trade it back and forth, and Relic says, hey, let's smash the reset. I'm going to fire this one in. Let's get ourselves back to a kickoff. Let's get ourselves back in the lead. You know, great goal there. I'm not going to take anything over from Relic, but one thing I did see before that goal even happened, Jumper went for the flip reset. He, he went did. for it. He and, uh, To me, that's one of the biggest things that... This is why you have to play in some of these leagues. It shows you that where I'm at, I have to elevate it. And mm -hmm. Jumper's trying to elevate his team right now. They're only down a goal, minute and a half to go. He could try to make the difference. And a good shot here, gonna try to give it to a teammate as Boyd Winter unable to receive it. It was a good backflip to pull off from Jumper as well. And, and again, echoing your point, stepping up, trying to do that little bit extra if you're down. and. You got to do a little bit more. You like to see it. You like to see that aggressive mentality. So you pass that halfway point here in Forbidden Temple and series still in control from Linden. Although game number four, more hotly contested. Just this one goal difference and Jumper looking to take the skies just has TJ to beat and TJ will not let the defense down. So he gets it past the midfield, but Boyd trying to find that dropping Jumper, but instead might find Kid the off speed. It's going to be saved by Maxwell. Yeah, good job by Relic. Putting that towards mid, unfortunately, just gets taken right from him. It is, as a blue side, starting to struggle a little bit here on defense. You need to get back quickly. You're seeing the aggression start really putting a thorn in their side. But TJ trying to put one down. The third man there to watch it the entire way here. Maxwell maybe getting a little bit of solo play, but that's a very powerful pop sending it back. TJ is picking up that full boost in the back corner, so... Head on a swivel to get that clear back out, but certainly something that uh, I, I'm sure Ben Davis yeah. was hoping was going to end yes. up being a goal. Instead, Relic with a hat trick coming back the other way. Just a nice little readjustment of their car. This kid was trying to make it, cuts it in quick. Jumper thinking it's going to be a little speedier. And again, just the softer touch, the finesse on it to get it past the defense. Yeah, and great touch there. Just the, his skill right now, he's... He's playing at, I would say, some of the top of his game, and it's going to take the entire community, we were saying earlier, back in game number one to stop him, and that's what it seems to. Someone's going to put it in a straight jacket. Someone unplug his controller, because the way this looks, his team's going to have to change their whole aspect here for Ben Davis. They want to turn things around. His final 66 seconds remaining. This one will just be pushed off has hazard lead in the blue hat. Going to send it back down over to the Ben Davis side. Clock very much the enemy of this orange trio. Maxwell working his way into that as well, just cutting that off deep up into the sky. I should say high up, not necessarily inverted deep. Team bump, we have not really seen that too, more, too often from this Linden half, but still gaining possession, taking that time off the clock. Tick tock, it goes. With 35 seconds left, Wolfie, it is just a game of possession. It's a game of killing the clock here for Linden. Yeah, the, the final 30 seconds, you, you can even afford to give up one goal here. It's not going to matter to you. You just 
trying to just allow yourself to keep things clean, not try to go out of rotation, and more importantly, just keep possession for yourself and off your half. TJ, big saves there as well. That's just going to be a time play to get it off to the side, let it tick away. Still up by two, which gets a little bit more wiggle room, but that clock making it all but certain. Kid escorting it across the field. Relic up one more time. The saves galore coming out from this Linden half as well. I mean, letting just, I mean, even the opportunities that they're leaving up were so narrow as is, but they were able to just get back in front and, I mean, big call out for the saves and Relic going for a car change, which you don't often see after a win. Yeah, you know, that's something that maybe he's trying to go for a different look. Uh, he probably felt something back in that last game. Oh, I kind of want the Fennec. I kind of want the, the Dom in here. You know, he might come with the Merc. We don't we don't know. Battle, the battle bus. bus. The, yeah, exactly. The battle bus might make an appearance I, here tonight. But you know, we'll, we'll see what Lin, what will come in from Relic. But Ben Davis, now this is it, boys. Your backs are against the wall at the very end. We're talking about heavyweight matchups. You're taking punches. You're on the ground. You're at the 10 count. Are you going to allow yourself to continue fighting? You're going to roll over here in this next game. I fully anticipate them to continue fighting and mm -hmm. go out with that all out effort. And they do have Relic back into the lobby, too. So we'll get it going. And I'm curious to see what car changes goes for. I, I like seeing off meta cars. I was actually a Proteus main for a while, which explains why I'm currently a caster and not a player. But it's, I like seeing creativity come out of it. So I, uh, I'm going to tune in very quick. Relic is in a different octane. So we'll call it good. <laughs> Yeah, I believe he was uh, sporting the space station decal before this. So, no, he, he says, I don't want to be Chicago no more. I want to be someone else. But kids saying, I just want to be me as he's going to start this one off with the first goal. Says, I'm me. I'm him. I'm going to take it past all of you. TJ, an effort in vain gets demoed coming up for the challenge on it. Five seconds into the game, already seeing something here in Neo Tokyo. And the question is going to be, Wolfie, do we finally see Champions Field? I want it. I, I want it so bad. We didn't get to see it at all here tonight. And, you know, it, it's fine when you don't see it in the lower rounds. But here in the grand finale, give the people what they want. We want that champion's feel. We want to see it here. And this one won't be able to go through, put it to the corner. Trying to win a 50, but it looks like TJ is going to take possession. He'll take it through to the air as well. It should get this follow up touch. Dimes it up for Relic. Needs to take another look at the one. I'm pretty certain TJ. Did get that second touch. We'll see if the camera shifts, and it does not. He did get just that little bit there. And I just, I mean, what else can you do? The defense played that just about as well as you can, unless you have precognition and be able to cut them off before they're ever there. I mean, what more can you do? Yeah, be better. Uh, I think we said that earlier. <laughs> just just got to be better at this point. And your town 1-1, one, one, this, this game is equal. You're going to need, you're, you're going to need a big change here, but... Dang, it's tough because they're playing good Rocket League. I'm not seeing anything that, that's that's so out of the ordinary. They're not doing any huge rotational prowesses. They're just not. They're just a step too slow. Right, and that, that's what gets so hard when when analyzing these kind of games too. Because if, if there is something that's obviously misplays, I mean, it's it, it, it's easy to just kind of point out and point to those kind of things. But to your point, I mean, Ben Davis, we saw them play very well earlier. They're playing very well here yet again, and it's just that little bit of speed, that that little bit of threatening, a very little in the way that I would point out and say, hey, don't do that, because most things mm -hmm. have just been where they need to be. But so is the defense. I mean, Linden is yeah. exactly where they need to be. They're just keeping the ball out of the net. Yeah, and, you know, anyone listening, be like, yeah, you're going to keep the ball out of the net. You can do this. But you know, easier said than done. Linden has done a, such a good job of trusting each, uh, each one of their teammates. Even after TJ there was unable to get that first touch, they had that second man who was ready for that up pass. TJ not too much boost, so they decided not to go for it. But also the comms, the communication by this team from Blue Hack has just been stellar to watch. It just seems that... They've been able to call things off. They've been able to leave things for teammates. I've seen when they're in the same position, they leave booze for each other. And TJ says, boys, he's talking about us. Let's get our name on the scoreboard. Yeah, and to your point, clean rotations. Maxwell gets the bump onto, onto jumper. And TJ is able to come through and, and get the nice follow-up shot off it after, well, afterwards. I mean, honestly, all three players there, you can see as soon as each individual touch happened, all three cars are adjusting. They're getting to where they need to be next. They're getting themselves in the lead still before halftime here in game number five. 
And still, Ben Davis has been looking better and better as this series has gone. The problem is these off games have, have been, again, not off, but Linden have just been as solid as they want to be on offense. And so that's why Ben Davis are playing from this hole. You know, and I'm trying to think about it. I, I just think for this blue side, it, they're just so much more, they do the fundamentals so well. And, and I, I feel you're talking about, you're talking about the rotation, being able to, lead boost, being able to lead that man, uh, set him up, put himself in those mid-range passes, those corner passes to mid-range. This, this team is just so fundamentally sound, and when the team is re already at that point, that's where the creativity starts to come through. But when you're not as mechanically inclined, I feel this is the point where the last two minutes just go all out on demos and just try to take them off the field, but TJ is going to make it difficult. Good connection there, and again, that chemistry coming out for Linden. Relic, I'm it's curious how he got so much power behind it and Void Winter is trying an awkward bounce there for Kid as well, but now that goes back to what you're saying, Wolfie, the comms, the chemistry, the trust in each other to be able to go for these kind of things, because knowing that each player is fast enough that even if you don't get the touch you want, you can still recover from it. I would like to see that the team pinch attempt coming out again. We already saw one earlier. I would love to see another one here. I would love to see the series extended as well, but Linden, Sitting on that 3-1 lead in both game and in series. 100 seconds away from being the champions of the Back to the Action LOS Scholastic Tournament. And up by four, Wolfie looks like they're going to start celebrate or start their uh, victory lap. Yeah, they, I feel this is where it is. They got themselves a championship back in November for that drum dash. And coming in for this one you know this team has just been stacking it up this season and there's still a lot left in this semester so this school's really gonna have a lot of progression forward but for this orange squad you hate seeing it you hate saying we got second place but you know you could get out of here a lot earlier as relic grabs goal number five yeah, absolutely it you said the phrase earlier iron sharpens iron you got to play against the teams to kind of figure out where you're at and and honestly ben davis they're, they're in very good spots a lot of these individual challenges have been solid it's linden just being that bit better and that's why they're sitting here five one in game number five they're looking solid for it and i mean there's time i generally don't call games too early but it's it's just been the smoothness the the control we've seen from linden it's at this point, they're going to look, I'm sure they're going to be looking to uh, maybe get two more goals, I'd imagine. And then after that, start playing the clock. Yeah, it, this is now, I think we're just at formalities at this point. Uh, four, 60 seconds remaining. I, I don't really see another goal coming in. They might try to press for the Brazil. I just think they're just going to go for time at this point. Yeah, I, I, once we hit like 45 seconds, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, we start going out. Although we're going to get a nice little rope dope oh. But it will yeah, be. Let's say, tough, so. <laughs> if they score six, I think they'll push for seven. But I, I don't think if it, if it comes, they'll be very content on this win. I think content is an understatement on the feelings this team's going to have once this goes to zero. Last couple of efforts back towards that blue net. Well, the winter should be able to get this one. It does. So a spark of hope coming in for Ben Davis. I mean, kickoffs are a mercurial thing, Wolfie. And... It's one of the better ways to get goals quick is you go from that set position and not have to worry about fighting for possession over and over. So still unlikely, but I, I've seen Stranger Things. There's, stuff has happened before. Sure. I forgot which RLCS LAN it was. I believe we were there. It was a, a three, four goal comeback in the last couple of seconds. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dallas Worlds. I remember that happened. I forgot which teams it was, but we saw, we saw like three goals in like 30 seconds for an OT, but doesn't seem that uh, history will repeat here. Jumper will grab one more, so kickoff, maybe? Question mark, six seconds left again. I mean, you need four seconds to get, three or four seconds to get two goals. You got six, so, I mean, a relative bounty of time to work with. <laughs> again, it's gonna have to go pretty immediately. And I, likely that is going to be it as it gets put off. And in fact, it will be. Ball hits the ground. Linden are the champions. In a game that ended up a touch closer than we expected it to be for a little bit, but ultimately picking up the win, they'll not just get the bragging rights, but also are going to be getting those Logitech G435 Lightspeed wireless headsets. And again, I love a wireless headset, so I'm yeah. happy for all of these. And again, congrats to all the players who played through and Congrats to Ben Davis ultimately falling a little bit short, but Linden standing on top as champions. Yeah, this is one of those games where 
it, it could have gone either way, but the top dog, they showed their 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 worth later on in the series. And you know, we thought it was be competitive. One game going back, going go the other way, but Relic, AJ were TJ, sorry, no, he played like AJ a couple times out there. I saw it. He played like AJ. I know he's gonna love hearing that there, but you know, this team played great, and there's no need to have any heads hanged here. Second place, yes, it hurts, but you worked hard and it shows you here. Just need to make those small improvements. But you know, it's not probably not gonna last time we see these two teams play against each other. No, I hope so. I hope we continue to see them playing, and I hope to see all these teams continuing to be in the LOS Scholastic scene. So, you know, we've been talking it up, and that is not just us, you know, putting on a face for a broadcast by any means. It is it's something that I know we both are very happy to see and are incredibly happy to be part of as well. And always cool to see uh, teams come through, especially when they have something like the, you know, like the high school connection, that kind of thing coming into it. It's not just pickup. These folks all play together. They all see each other daily, so... It's always good to see, but uh, Wolfie, that unfortunately is going to do it for us. But before we head out, any final words from you, my friend? Uh, big shout out to Lois for bringing us on here tonight. I, you know, I, I love being a part of this. Me and Marty, we were talking about it. It was on the first Lois uh, uh, Rocket League stream that we had. I think it was NBA 2K, actually. So, you know, a lot of history there. And I love to be being, uh, put back here. But ladies and gentlemen, follow me on Twitter. I have to put the, the shameless play. I have Wolfie2Hot underscore W-O-L-F-Y, the number 2, H-O-T underscore. Uh, don't do Wolfie2Hot. That's another guy. He's a fairy. I don't, I don't want to talk about that guy. I've had a lot of conversations about it, Allie. But nonetheless, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and big thank you to Cookies as well. Uh, a, a, great, a great great job here today. Press the button behind the scene. Made us look good. And made, made the stream look good overall. <laughs> always always got a shout out cookies and again thanks to los for bringing us on congratulations again to linden for coming out victorious in the back to the action tournament but that is going to be it for us here tonight we're going to go through over to another league that's actually doing a championship tonight blackline cs and uh wolfie i have a sneaking suspicion uh, folks are going to see us again very soon yeah i'm kind of on there in five minutes so <laughs> right well, after this folks, i'm jumping over there <laughs> If you can come hang out with us, come back and check out LOS anytime. Much love. Thanks for having us on there. We'll catch you guys later. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend.